So the man at home, yeah? Yeah, no, no, man. Let's say he's a man, he's a real trusty man. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Dishaloof back with another video. And today, I mean, we're gonna do a hot seat. We stand the title and go say too much. Just like, comment, subscribe to the thing. Yeah, and we out. Before we hop into this video, do make sure to follow me on Instagram at the Shaloof. Alright, nice. So, um, it's an intro. You guys know what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. Right? And we here with, what's your name? Ninky. Ninky. Ninky right. Punch. Right. So, Ninky also got a channel. You guys can go ahead and subscribe to her channel as well. I'm going to put the link in the description. So, you guys can go ahead, follow her. You know, like up she content. She's getting there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so Nikki, tell us a little bit about you. You're Grenadian. Where are you from? So I'm actually Guyanese, originally Guyanese. Mm. But I lived in London for about 14 years. And then I live down here now. Oh. So I've been about, basically. Yeah. Oh, nice. I just going to say, well, she's an English Guyanese. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. Right. So we're going to stick with it and we'll get straight into the questions, right? Ready? Let's go. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, nice. <laughs> So yeah, the first question is, what is the most adventurous thing you ever done? Uh, the most adventurous thing, moved to Grenada, I would say that. And then the second thing that I've done, I would say, hike to Mount Kwakwa. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a hike. So I would say that's the most adventurous thing I've done. Nice. I mean, yeah. Nice, nice. So the next question is, is like, if you can travel to anywhere in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Where would it be and why? Egypt. Egypt, 100% Egypt. Um, I've always been very interested in, you know, the Egyptian mythology, hieroglyphics, the pharaohs. My middle name is an Egyptian goddess. Bro. Yes, Isis. Nice. Nice. So, yeah, I'm very much interested in Egypt. I think I, I think I kind of interested in Egypt right now, too. <laughs> right so my next question is let's see right what is your favorite book or movie okay and why does it resonate with you okay um i would say my favorite book is what i can't remember the name it's at the tip of my mouth it's something to do with your soul one day my soul just opened up by Ilyana Van Zandt. So that was the first book that I ever read that really um, kind of awakened the spiritual part of me. Right. So um, yeah, it really just resonated because I've always been into spirituality. Um, religion never really like stuck with me. So that definitely like, yeah, paved the way for me to start opening up to spirituality. So that was very important, yeah. Got it, got it. Well, just to say I'm a Christian, okay. my favorite book, Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades. That's the first book that I have actually ever read. For real? Yeah. When you think about it, book. it's very nice. And the movie? And you see, the movie doesn't do it justice. Nah. The movie doesn't do it. The book is much more detailed, isn't it? Yeah, the right. book is much more detailed, but the movie is the uh, how old people in Greenland say the realm of caught, you know? The realm of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, my next question is. If we could have any superpowers in the world, like any superpowers, I mean, we're going back to the kids' days, right? Mm -hmm. What would it be and how would you use it? Okay. So, what superpower? What superpower? I don't know, there's actually a couple that I had in mind, but I don't know what one. I... Let's. Maybe time travel. Oh, for real? Yeah. Maybe time travel because, like, I want to be able to go back into like the prehistoric time and you know just see how it is obviously like dinosaurs they're not going to eat me because i can just like travel right, to another time right, but right. i would definitely want to experience that like that would be so cool definitely, yeah time travel yeah. i mean you know as Grenadian people say right men these days out here they i mean they ain't settling so if i can have any superpowers mm -hmm. i will wish to have the power to like you know you said what? To settle? <laughs> <laughs> you said settle. I mean, okay. I mean, I would love to settle, mm -hmm. but I would settle. That's the point. But I mean, I would love to have the power to like actually cheat, but don't get caught. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Everybody has their little superpower they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish. Yeah, I wish. 
such a man answer though. That's such a man answer. Yeah. And it's honest, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I mean the next question is what is your go to hobby or activity, right? Mm-hmm. And when you need to relax or no, my bad. I'm, I'm asking two questions in one. <laughs> yeah, what is your go-to hobby or activity? And I think that's a question, but I put two questions in one. Okay, so, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So my go-to hobby is definitely hiking. I love to hike. Um, as I said in the last question, um, I recently went to Mount Kwakwa and like it was such an amazing hike. So that's what I love doing. And then to wind down, I would, you know, read a book, listen to some music and just, you know, stay on my balcony, watch the views and yeah. Nice, 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 nice. I mean, we have some similarities. I used to like hiking until I get to realize I'm allergic to certain bush. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I just prevent doing them thing, you know? Wow. Yep, yep, yep. You're missing out a lot. I mean, they have, it's just a specific part of Grenada, just the St. Mark's area. Okay. Yeah, there's something they call Betush. Betush? Yeah, Never Betush. Yeah, so basically, yeah. Um, if that get close to my skin, I'll have like orange bumps. Orange bumps? Yeah. On but that dark skin. That on that look, dark skin. So you just imagine that. Was that was wild. <laughs> no, you don't come plentiful though. Okay. Yeah, so um, if you could have dinner, right? Mm-hmm. You could have dinner with any hist- historical figure. Who would it be and why? Mm, these questions are make me think. Mm. Hmm. Let's see who you be thinking about. Who <laughs> <laughs> though, like for real, for real? Who mm. you know? The first person that popped into my head is Michael Jackson <laughs> because I just love Michael Jackson's music. Like I, I love Michael Jackson, so I feel like that's just it, really and truly. Like I wanna. I want to just pick his brain and just like see where did his creativity come from? Where did it stem from? You know? But yeah, Michael Jackson, shit. Michael yeah, Jackson. so when you stick to Michael Jackson, you st- you're talking about the music or the way he wine, dance, you know? No, his music. His, music. Definitely his music. Because like his music is, that's like legacy type of music. Like people don't be making music like that no more. Like, wh- wh- I-, I don't understand. I do, I do. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm played up, man. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, my next question is, you see the question is chill, right? Yeah, that's chill, that's chill, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's chill, none too crazy until the last one. Alright. <laughs> right, so, um, what is the most memorable concert you've ever been to? And, um, would you like to go back and participate in it again? Or no? Yeah, so the most memorable one was Wireless in London, so that's like a big music festival. And that was the first time that I went to it, which was like in, I think, 2017. But um, that was that was the best concert ever. Like the crowd was just amazing. Somebody picked me up, put me on their shoulder. Like that was the first time, and I was like, "Damn, I'm seeing everybody. This, this is cool. Like, don't put me down." <laughs> so yeah, that that was amazing. And a hundred percent, I would love to go back. Ah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. My dad lives in London, though. Okay, where about? Um, I think he lives in South London, to be specific. Yeah. Never been to London, though. It's cool. It's boring. Nice. I'll be calling him and he be showing me it's boring. Yeah, because he ain't doing nothing. Nah, he always outside. Okay. Yeah, he always outside. Okay. <laughs> right at the US though. Oh, US? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can keep the US. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. I'll keep London. Yeah. Now, nah, come to London soon and I'm gonna lie. Yeah, London's bad, man. It is. If it could learn any skill in the world, right? Instantly. What would it be? Mm, what would it be? Learning how to dive like snorkeling yeah i want to learn how to do that oh, okay. yeah that's cool i mean that's pretty easy what do you think josh <laughs> yo so yeah um also what is your favorite way of spending a weekend or free time mm. and do you like spending it alone or with people with persons okay so i would say like my favorite i like spontaneity sometimes because i'm a very free spirit so like you know if there's some invitation like last minute invitation like, oh let, let's go this place let's go that place like i wouldn't mind i would like if i'm not doing anything especially i wouldn't mind just being like yeah let's roll whatever the case may be but um like my free time i just like to do chilled stuff like it's not always partying so you know i would go to the beach here and there or i would just literally just go on a walk or go hiking yeah, yeah, nice, yeah. Nice, nice. and then what was the last week there was a the last yeah, week um 
yourself or like the person? Which are you prefer? Um, it could be both. It could be both. I do really like my space. I don't like people like that too much. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't mind, you know, going with people here and there as well. So yeah, it, it's a balance. All right, all right. So you more like a bipolar type of person? I'm a Scorpio. I'm a Capricorn, the best. Okay. The best. Okay. The brown this time, but that's good though. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. I also I also tell people without Scorpios, there's not a month like existing in the world. The reason why I say that, without January, there's not a month. Make it make sense. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. So um. Yeah, if you could have a conversation with an animal, right? Mm-hmm. Which one would you choose? And what would you ask that animal? Jesus. These questions. <laughs> no, these questions. Oh, I don't know. Mm. What animal? What animal? Uh, damn. Okay, so maybe... What animal? That's very interesting, you know. Mm. Seriously, he guys, he's making me think. Wow. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay, so what's my favorite animal? What is my? I like butterflies. Right. I really like butterflies. So, um, I'll probably ask them like, what would I ask a butterfly? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what would I ask a butterfly? <laughs> wow. Hmm. You can always come back to that. Not gonna bust your brain. No, I, I like to just get my things out of the way. Thank you very much. So right. don't worry. I'm gonna let me let me finish it. Right. So I would ask a butterfly. Are you? Are you incarnated? Are you like a spirit, or are you just like a butterfly? Like, are you anybody in particular? Because you know, like people reincarnate, right? Yeah. Right. People think they re- reincarnate. You think you think people actually? Yeah. You believe in that? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, honestly, you're a Christian, so yeah. Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Of course. I honestly do. Even if I wasn't a Christian, mm-hmm. I don't actually think like making it make sense. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's actually a thing. Okay, fair enough. I mean, one way to find out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> honestly, no, for real. But yeah, that's what I would ask them. I just ask them like, are you are you incarnated in, into anything, or mm-hmm. are you just like a butterfly? Right, right, right. Yeah. So before we do continue, like. You thought like the question would I be more crazy? Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, honestly, honestly, trying to make up a question that was the hardest thing. To do. The hardest thing. I was like, nah, that that was kind of too crazy, you know. Until yeah. the last one. Okay. I keep hearing about this last question. You know, <laughs> what's this last question? Okay. <laughs> right. So you kind of get a little bit spicy, yeah. Mm-hmm. When it comes to um, physical appearance, right? Um, and attractiveness. Mm-hmm. You think Grenadian men actually could bypass any other men across the world that you actually met before? So I say you, you've been to Guyana, mm-hmm. you've been to England, um, you would like to go to Egypt, mm-hmm. but comparing to all the men and the different races they're from, right? Mm-hmm. You think like Grenadian men uh, like stand up for them when it comes to physical appearance, um, whatever. Once it comes to they being attractive to a woman, what do you think? Um, I think that there are very much good looking men in Grenada. Mm-hmm. Um, but before I actually moved down here, I thought that Grenadian men were just like, wow. But like now that I'm living down here, like I would say that it's the, it's the same, not even the same amount because London's much more bigger. Yeah. But there are good looking men here. Mm-hmm. And then there's obviously men that are, you know. So I would say like it's 50 50 with men here. Mm-hmm. But like I would say that in London, there's a lot more options. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Um. But yeah, that's that's the answer. Yeah, and was there something else to that or no? No, that's it. Yeah. yeah I mean, that makes a lot of sense because London is pretty much bigger. It's you know? bigger. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. bigger. It's bigger. You know. And there's so, loads of different races as well. Do you get mm-hmm. me? The good, the bad, and the ugly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so, what is the craziest thing you ever done? On a drunk night. Drunk night. To be honest, this won't really be any long question because I don't be drunk like that. Okay. Like, yeah. So you can remove the drunk, but what's the craziest thing ever done on a night? The craziest thing I've done on a night. Um. Okay. 
I this was um, after a party down here in Grenada. Mm -hmm. So a guy was like, there was two guys. They had like motorbikes, and they were like, oh, like do you want to hop on? And I was like. In my mind, I was like, no, Nikki, you shouldn't do this, you're gonna die. Yeah. But then I hopped on, and yeah, like that was the first time that I went in the back of a motorbike, and the guy was like speeding. I don't even know how much I was, but it was, it was speeding, it was speeding, but that was the craziest thing I would say. Yeah. And you were scared? I was scared. You enjoyed it? I, I did enjoy it, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> so, I mean, we get into the end. Mm, you know, question. That, that question, you know? <laughs> Um, yeah, so if you could have a perfect day, what it would look like, okay, and kind of escalate it from morning to night, a perfect day. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so a perfect day for me will be no work tasks at all. So mm -hmm. completely free, you don't have nobody's building on my line, no one's doing nothing like that. I'll probably start off my day with some nice yoga, some nice flow. The weather would also be perfect as well. No rain or anything like that. Um, you know, I'll make some nice breakfast. Is this like too much details? Or is it what? No, yeah? Go ahead. Okay, okay. I'll make some nice breakfast. Then, um, you know, sometime around noon, someone might text me and be like, Oh, this is sponta spontaneity. This is what I like. So somebody could just be like, Oh, hey, like... Do you want to go this place or, you know, Hog Island or do you want to go here? And I'm like, you know what? Okay, cool. I don't have nothing to do. So I will take up their offer. I will go with them. And then the people that are out there, you know, they're good vibes. We have good laughter like over there. Good conversations. Right, yeah. um, you know, obviously I'll make some good content as well. Right. Eat some good food. Mm -hmm. Um and then towards the night you know maybe the, it can take us somewhere else we meet up with more good people or maybe you know throwing some karaoke there or right. you know something interesting to end out the night basically you know I feel it, I definitely feel it, drink some wine put some wine in there because the night have to have wine right <laughs> yeah um and then yeah that, that would literally be like a perfect day for me like a yeah right right mm -hmm. so we get into the last question you know the most interesting question of the day that question also will be pertaining to my next video. Okay. So I'll be doing a public interview basically. Okay. And I just actually I was lying down and I just think, you know, that question came up and I was like, you know what, I have to ask that question, you know. And as a black woman, I just mm -hmm. want to hear what's your response when it comes to that question. Okay. You tell me if that question is pretty much crazy, but I just think it's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. What are some ways to cheat on your man and don't get caught? Jesus Christ. Oh, do you know what? Yeah. Listen, I'm going to speak from a point of a woman who doesn't like cheaters. And I just feel like it's a disgusting thing. Right, right. Um, before you continue, sorry for cutting you. Never cheat before. Huh? You never I've never cheated before. I've never cheated before. Um, yeah. But um, ways to cheat though, like I. I don't think I could answer this question because it's just like no so like that, if you if you love somebody if if somebody genuinely loves somebody and somebody is stable within their self and grounded within their self mm -hmm. why would you cheat on somebody okay so hypothetically speaking right mm -hmm. let's say you just wanted bad girls so, so to say bad, yeah, them okay. bad girls right and you live in life mm -hmm. um you don't care you don't give one shit about what one niggas had to say or do about you and you just feel like you just can't settle down, but you know, you sometimes you just had this nigga, you mm -hmm. like him, and let's say you're, you're, you're not wife him, but you're making him your husband. Mm -hmm. And you feel like, you're you know, you stick with him forever, but then again, you're seeing other things you like. And it was like, nah, boy, I need to try new stuff. Taking yeah. the grass greener. Yeah, mm. you, need to, you need to put a little man here in the grass, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, what do you suggest that you do? Mm hmm. Um, while trying to get attached to other niggas or trying new niggas okay. without getting caught by your husband, what do you think? You, what do you think you should do? Like, like, like keep it real. Like, okay. keep it real. All yeah. Right, all right. All right. So, yeah. First of all, you need to be stroking that ego. You need to be, you know, stro stroking the man, making him feel like okay, like he's the only one for you. Mm. You know, because it's like men do feel when women are starting to drift you know like that that's a natural Facts. thing yeah Facts. so it's like you know you have to see if you can set up at least you know like 
one date a week something like that to make mm. him seem like okay like yeah man my girl she doing thing yeah we in a relationship and she she's setting dates for we yeah we going out here yeah 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 right cool so that that's one thing you have to make him make it seem like you're genuinely like interested in the relationship and you're genuinely pouring into the relationship right. then on the side obviously make sure that your phone whoever's in your phone don't be saving nobody's name as the yeah, actual yeah, name yeah yeah, yeah 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 save it as your girl's name or you know yeah, as your yeah. mom's name yeah you have to be smart you have to be smart right <laughs> what else would i say Shit. right so to don't let to don't let you think a lot mm-hmm. and make things are much much easier mm-hmm. so let's create a life scenario right all right go ahead so basically what you explain right mm-hmm. you're loving up the money making sure you feel comfortable with yeah. you two you get in contact with the next person mm-hmm. You don't make it obvious in your phone. You you, you set limits, yes, basically. Set limits, yeah. So let's see. All the linking up today. Mm-hmm. The man at work, coming from work, six o'clock. Now it's four seven, right? Mm-hmm. I'll let me meet him right now. Mm-hmm. Um, sooner or later. Um, yeah, take it from there. You create a life scenario. Yeah. <laughs> sooner or later. So what time now? It's four. Yeah, and he finishing work six. And he finishing work six. So the man at home, yeah. Yeah, no, no man. He, let's say he's a man. Yeah, real trusty man. <laughs> um. So yeah, like I guess like you guys can just set up something. Be like, okay, I'm finishing work at this time. Mm-hmm. Let we, we meet up somewhere, not too public either as well, because you know right. everybody Mako and everybody in Grenada. So, Except me, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like you can meet up somewhere very private. I'm, I don't know, like it was nice and private in Grenada. It's somewhere private. The bush. Yeah, the bush. You know, yeah, the bush. Yeah. Go, um, or maybe go Pandi. Pandy, yeah, yeah, Pandy, yeah. Pandy, yeah. Go Pandy, stay there for a couple of hours, you know, and then afterwards, yeah, go home, kiss up your man and thing, and yeah, there make, we go. Make it happen. Yeah, make it happen. You cheat. Like, uh, I well fall in love with you already. <laughs> That's crazy. So, I mean, guys, look, that was my question, right? And to say this, woman out here, like, I just had to ask that question, you know, That's because. Why. That's very much wild. And yeah. I just want to hear what like people have to say about this question. Yashi, you want to see me start to make that video? <laughs> that <would> be, <laughs> that shit go get crazy. Yeah. Honestly. So, I mean, as I said, I'm going to put her Instagram, YouTube, whatever necessary. Go subscribe to the thing. Just like up the thing. Just, just like up the thing, man. Bloom up the thing, right? Yeah. Right? The personality is nice over here. <laughs> right. Mm. Let's get she to one. You reach 1K already? Not yet. Right? So, let's get yeah. her to 1K. And the four, the four thousand watch hours. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm actually nearly there. I'm nearly at four thousand. Oh, yeah. for real? Well, I mean, I'm past there long. Yeah. <laughs> so right now, guess she. Let me guess she today, right? Mm-hmm. So if you guys love the video, the energy, the vibe, I even gonna ask you. Just like the thing, comment your thoughts on the last question, especially. You know, <laughs> yeah. I want to hear all the other see on that, right? And we call up. They're gonna be more creative than me. They're gonna be more creative than me mm-hmm. when it comes to cheating, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, especially them red girls, so I hear. So I hear. <laughs> right? So, um, do make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I'm looking for all the comments. And let me hear all I had to say about it. Do you show the person's name? Keep it in your brain. We out. <laughs>